You're watching FE Exam Prep with Anthony Fasano from Pass the FE Exam. In this video, we're going to calculate the heat transfer through a concrete wall. This question forms part of the mechanical section of the FE Exam and will give you a better understanding of what you can expect during the exam. This Pass the FE Exam video and question is brought to you by PPI, a leader in engineering exam prep for the FE and PE exams since 1975. PPI provides expert prep courses and study resources designed to help you pass the FE exam the first time. PPI's live online courses include hours of lectures, problem solving demonstrations, exam strategy sessions, office hours, and a passing guarantee. When you take a live online course, PPI guarantees you will pass or you can take the on-demand course for free. With study guides, practice exams, and more, the PPI Learning Hub offers digital practice and review that you can take with you anywhere you have a device so that you can prepare during the times most convenient for you. Check out PPI today at ppi2pass.com to see all the options available for FE exam prep. Let's dive in. This week's problem was solved by Enrique Ivers in engineering training. Enrique, take it away. In this example, we're given a heat transfer problem which reads, a concrete wall is 20 centimeters thick and has an overall thermal resistance of 0.2 square meters degree Celsius per watt. The temperature difference between the two wall surfaces is five degrees Celsius. We're then asked, what is most nearly the heat transfer through the wall? We're given four choices, all in units, watts per square meter. The FE handbook is useful in this problem, but we have to know what to look for. If we search for heat transfer, we'll find the basic heat transfer equations on page 204. At the bottom of the page, we'll find the equation for conduction of heat through a plane wall with the associated variable definitions. Note that K, the thermal conductivity, is defined further up on the page. Q dot is equal to the rate of heat transfer in watts. K is equal to the thermal conductivity in watts per meter degree Celsius. A is equal to the wall surface thickness normal to the heat flow in square meters. And T sub two minus T sub one is equal to delta T or the temperature difference in degrees Celsius. And L is equal to the wall thickness in meters. Before we use the equation for conduction through a plane wall, we must take note of three things. First, the Celsius and Kelvin scales have a direct linear relationship. The temperature difference between x degrees Celsius and y degrees Celsius is equal to the temperature difference between x units Kelvin and y units Kelvin. Thus, delta T for degrees Celsius is equal to delta T for units Kelvin. So when we see an equation that talks about a temperature difference in Kelvin, we can automatically use the temperature difference in degrees Celsius. The second thing is the problem solutions are all in watts per square meters, meaning the wall surface area isn't necessary information to solve this problem. The third thing we have to take note of is that the problem gives us the overall thermal resistance of the wall in square meters degrees C per watt. We'll have to find a way to correlate this to the thermal conductivity watts per meter degrees Celsius and the wall thickness in meters. We note that dividing the units for L by the units for K, we have a measure of the thermal resistance R. Therefore, K divided by L is equal to 1 over R, and we're given R in the problem statement. Thus, we're able to simplify the equation to Q dot equal to A times delta T divided by R. Recall that the answers are given to us in watts per square meters. So we are searching for Q dot divided by A. We can now substitute in our values for delta T and the thermal resistance. Ultimately, we find that the correct answer is D, 25 watts per square meter. I hope you found this week's video helpful. In upcoming videos, I will answer more of your FE exam questions and run through more practice problems. Pass the FE exam will publish videos weekly, so please be sure to click the subscribe button as you'll get expert tips and tricks, including practice problem solutions weekly 
to ensure that you pass the FE exam. And I encourage you to ask questions in the comments below that I will read and respond to in future videos. Maybe there's a specific topic you'd like me to cover or a problem you need solved. Pass the FE exam will have you covered. I'll see you next week on Pass the FE exam. Thank you.